Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name remains Kemisino Lafwakwe. Today we are going to be learning how to pattern draft, how to cut, and also how to sew this shirt collar. So if this is what you would like to know how to do, kindly tag along and let me just show you how to do this. So now to get started with the making of our shirt collar, the first thing we are going to be doing is to mark an horizontal line. You'll be marking an horizontal line on your pattern paper. You are pattern drafting the shirt collar now. After doing this, after marking an horizontal line, the next thing to do is to mark the midpoint there to indicate the shoulder line. Turn to your left is your center front. Towards your um, right is your center back. So after doing this, the next step is to bring out your shirt um, pattern. Your shirt pattern the front and the back we are going to be measuring around the front pattern first the neckline you measure around it so whatever you have there you place on your shoulder on the horizontal line that you measured so you are going to um, place it on the shoulder towards the center front that you've written down whatever you have there then you indicate that's your neckline for the front pattern you measure around the back pattern also the neckline whatever you have there you place on the shoulder line and mark towards the center back on the horizontal line so now after doing this the next step to do is from the center front that you've indicated you measure upward 1.25 inches 1.25 inches you rule down and after doing that, you indicate from that 1.25 inches, you measure 1 inches upward again. You can measure 1.25 here. It depends on how wide you want your um, collar stand to look. Then from the center back, you measure 2.5 inches upward. Then you rule that down also from the center back. You measure 2.5 inches. And after doing this, you indicate that. The next step now is on the 2.5 inches, you measure upward 1.25 inches. From the 2.5 inches, you divide 1.25 inches. After doing that, you get your pattern curve. Then you, rule, you use the curvy part the way I'm using it. From the shoulder, you use the curvy part to the 1.25 inches. And then you place your pattern curve again from the 0 1.05 um, 1 at the center back. You root to the 1 inches at the center front. Make sure you are using the curvy part in this case. After doing that, you bring out your shirt. You root the extension, the um, button extension at the front part. I have 1.25 in this case. And I'm going to be placing on the 1.25 at the center front in a curving way. Then you use your free hand to curve. You can see what I'm doing. After doing that, you measure again to make sure your measurement is accurate. Then you curve. You know how the button extension is always at at the um, collar stand. Then you curve this way. After doing this, you are done with your collar stand. You are done with the pattern drafting of our collar stand. So this is our collar stand. The next thing to do now is to pattern draft our collar fold. After doing this, you place your pattern, your, your ruler, the straight side. Then you measure from that um, remaining part at the 2.5 inches to your um, to your collar stand this way. I'm going to be using a broken line to just indicate that this is the down part is the collar stand, and whatever is going to be at the up part now is the collar fold. I'm going to measure whatever is left from that two and a half inches that we measured the other time. The same measurement that is there, I will measure the same thing at the upper part again. This is at the center back. After doing that, I'll take my ruler to rule. After ruling, the next step is I'll be taking my collar stand, the curvy part. See how I'm placing it? Just watch carefully how I'm placing it. Now I'm going to be ruling a line from that part in a curvy manner. Then you just rule this way. You use the curvy part. After doing this, the next step now is to measure 2 inches. This 2 inches is standard, except you want your 
cola fold to be wider i'm going to be measuring two inches at the center back so now yeah i'm trying to write down the measurements so we don't forget one inches for the cola stand 1.25 inches at that part then in total here is two in two and a half inches so after measuring the two inches which is for our cola fall i'm going to be marking a straight line you can use two and a half inches it depends on you now after doing this i'm going to be measuring nine inches nine inches is standard you could use 10 inches you could use 11 inches so i'm measuring 10 inches here and i'm going to be measuring a straight line i'll be ruling a straight line after ruling a straight line from that nine inches i have to rule from the cola stand that um, curvy part i'm going to rule to the nine inches so in this case i don't like like how my cola fall is looking so i'm just trying to extend a bit outward just to get my preferred shape so just watch closely what i'm doing so now we have 10 inches i'm trying to get 10 inches if i'm going to like the shape if i don't like the shape i will extend more so here you could just um design or customize your color fall however and in however shape you want so that's what i'm just doing i still don't like the shape i feel it's too straight so now i just want it extended i want it extended outward so now i'm just going to go with this shape now i just like the shape of my cola fall so i'm just going to be marking out the lines that are not there so after doing this i'm done with the pattern drafting of the cola stand and also the cola fall so now after doing this i'm going to be getting a fresh paper and then using my tracing wheel to trace on it separately the cola fall and also the cola stand so now i've gotten a fresh um, pattern paper i'll be using my tracing wheel now to trace out the cola stand separately and then trace out the cola fall separately also And mind you, after tracing out, I'm going to be drawing out whatever shape or whatever line the tracing wheel has left on the new pattern paper. So now this is our cola fall. I'm done with the tracing of the cola fall and also the cola stand. The next step now is just to add half inches all around the cola fall and also the cola stand. So now after doing this, the next step now is just to cut this out. 
and now make sure you indicate your center back that place is going to be folded when we are cutting after doing this you just cut this out and i'll show us what the next step is So now after cutting out, I will be indicating, make sure you indicate this space will be folded. The center back is going to be folded. So you don't forget when you are cutting. So now I'm just going to cut this out. We are going to be cutting two of the cola fall and also two of the cola stand. So now I've gone ahead to cut two for the cola fall and also two for the cola stand, which is going to be the interfacing. I'm going to add this gum stay now to it. Then I will show us what the next step is. After adding the gum stay to um, the cola fall and also the cola stand, this is what we have. So if you follow the instructions from the beginning of the tutorial, you should also have this. Don't forget to notch the middle of your cola fall and also your cola stand so you don't make any mistake. We are going to be treating the cola fall first. After you've added your um, gum stay, you are going to be sewing the half inch allowance that you've added. You'll be sewing it all around except the down part you're going to sew all around except the down part so now i've gone ahead to sew all around except the down part of the cola fall and this is what we have so this is what we have i'm going to be trimming out the excesses on this because i don't want it to be too bulgy so i'll just trim it out So you could choose to also notch here or um, you can just trim out. So I'm just trimming this out. After trimming out, I'll be um, turning it over to the right side and then ironing. So I'll turn this now to the right side using my um, scissors to pull out the edges. So make sure you pull out the edges. So now after pulling it out to the right side, I'm going to take this to my ironing table now and iron this flat. So now after ironing, this is what we have. This is our color for you can see the color for is really coming out beautiful. So now I will make sure to um, notch the midpoint of the color for It's very important. You notch, make sure to notch the color fall and also the color stand. So after notching, I'm going to be bringing in my cola stand. So I also notch this one. I've notched the down part. I didn't notch the upper part. So it's important to notch the up and the down part. So now after notching, I'll be placing it like this. Make sure your um, cola fall is facing you this way. Then you're going to be placing your cola stand on it this way. The coffee, the coffee part should be placed, um, should be facing the upper part of the cola fall. So make sure it is like this. And then I'm going to be um, placing the notched parts together. And then using my office pin to pin them in place. So make sure what you are seeing on the screen is what you have on your cutting table when you are making yours. So after doing this, I will make sure it's aligned. The cola stand, um, the neckline is aligned. Not the neckline actually, the curvy part of the um, cola fold and also the curvy part of the cola stand is aligned this way. So make sure you place it carefully and use your office pin to pin in place because this could make or mar your cola so make sure to just be careful at this point it's better to take your time than losing or getting it all wrong so now after i'm done placing the um office paint and making it together 
I'll just take this to my sewing machine now and then sew half inches. The half inches allowance that we had it, I'm going to be sewing it where my finger is now. The part that I'm showing you, I'm just going to be sewing that part. So now after sewing, this is what we have. I've gone ahead to sew and also to remove the office pin. I'm going to be trimming this now. So after trimming out, I'll be turning this to the right side. I'll be turning this to the right side and pulling out the edges. So now, voila, we are done with the making of our shirt collar. If you want to see how I added this shirt collar to my shirt dress, or how you could add it to your shirts, just join me, put on your notification, subscribe now, put on your notification, so you can get a notification when I upload the video for my shirt dress. And there you will see how I added this shirt collar to my shirt dress. Thank you guys for joining my tutorial today. I'm really, really grateful for the support. I will not stop thanking you guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.